and welcome back everyone to night some developments and as promised in the last video and you guys chose in the polls today we're making a simple uh, continuation to my knife system tutorial series and we're making a inspect animation for your knife in this case a karambit this is one of those things that just makes your game look amazing look cool and fun for the player obviously from last tutorial we ended up with a working knife that had just a hit animation and today we're adding the inspect animation also thank you to everyone who subscribed thank you for 1000 subscribers after three years of posting these videos i finally reached that goal i'll be doing the giveaway in the future probably two or three weeks when i'll be giving away 5000 robux to five lucky people so a thousand robux each if you're interested i will post all of the information down in my discord and then this is going to be a pretty easy tutorial and then if you have any trouble, you can always comment or message me on Discord. So let's go ahead and get into the video. And first of all, I wanted to mention something really important that was on my mind. If something in your game doesn't work or you're having trouble and somebody asks you, what are the error codes? Go to the view tab and click this icon right here. It should open a tab called output. And this is where all of your errors are going to be stored if the game doesn't run correctly you'd be surprised how many people don't know about this menu which gives you most of the solutions for literally any tutorial issue you might be facing okay now that hopefully you got up to this point perfectly fine and then you have a working view model today we're making obviously an animation so first of all i wanted to start off by fixing some of the code because um a lot of it was disabled due to obviously this being a new view model so we're going to start off by going to our karambit code which is actually in replicated storage modules folder so right here you open it up and wherever it says inspect anim you're going to delete those two dashes and it should appear in color so on line 20 you make you enable this command and actually for testing you already have a attack animation so copy that id and then paste it into inspect we're just going to use this for um testing now go to your uh, knife client code which is stored in starter player and then starter player scripts you'll find that here so in this code you're going to first of all scroll down to line 125 right here delete the two dashes which will enable the inspect anim then you're going to scroll down to this part right here and you should see this whole greened out area you can actually select this and then hold control and then click question on your keyboard which will automatically make all of this enabled then you're going to scroll down to lines 249 and 251 which are right here and you're actually going to disable these two because they're inside of the inspect um, function and you don't want obviously your knife doesn't have a empty fire anim and doesn't have an a equip anim just yet so disable those you could delete them but I highly recommend just disabling because we might use those later on now we're quickly gonna run a test just to make sure all of the code works so now if you go into the game and then you click F on your keyboard you should see an attack so now you know that code is functioning properly and there's obviously no errors in the output now we're going to do the animation so also very important I somehow for forgot to mention this and cut it out from the last video in your view model your karambit right here make sure your view model has a animation controller if it doesn't have this part, you can literally add it by clicking the plus and then searching up animation controller. And it should show up right there. You click it and add it if you're missing this part. This is super important for your um, view model to be able to be animated. So make sure your view model has it. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to duplicate it and then bring it into workspace. And this is the one that works properly so I'm just gonna delete the old one you're gonna take your view model you're gonna go to avatar select animation editor open it up right here and then select your view model once again 
if you don't have the animation controller it will not let you select the view model go ahead and click the little plus icon and then add all body which will literally just add every single component of your knife now i'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger which kind of sucks because not a lot of space to work with but i guess we'll just figure it out so for this animation i'm, I'm thinking something simple like i'm just gonna spin the knife right and then i'm gonna look at it kind of more closely so this is one of those things you just decide for yourself so i'm gonna select the main which is literally just a knife hold shift and click right arm which will select all of these parts which will obviously allow me to move them when i want to before you move anything very important move this um i don't know what you call that the dash move it two little pieces and then i like to shake the hand up when i'm doing a spin so i'm gonna shake it up right oh don't forget to turn off your rotation lockers so i'm gonna throw the hand up and then i'm gonna actually move it forward a little bit just to give more um view area for your player then i'm gonna move three dashes and then select just the knife no arm and then rotate it just about there i think and then move another three dashes again another three dashes again and i think i'm gonna go for actually for two spins but i noticed something right here you see how the knife is in his arm right now right there make sure this doesn't happen in order to fix this you can just quickly move this just a little bit right there okay and then i'm just gonna keep going so three rotate that was a little far rotate here and then again rotate there and then again rotate there a little more and then let's do one more so right here and then make sure it returns to this position so you can do this by copying so go ahead click this copy selected oh wait that was cut copy selected and then right here control v to paste it in and then if you actually play this right now you will just see let's actually make it a lot slower so change this right here from one second to let's go two seconds right then quickly here select everything and then just expand it let's do this whatever play it as you can see the knife spins but it looks weird because the arm isn't moving so to fix this issue so remember we shook the arm here through all of these steps i'm actually gonna move the arm up whenever the knife is going up so as you can see from here to here the knife went up so i'm gonna go to the arm and then give it just a little turn here and then when it's up i'm gonna just give it like half a little spin down and then when the knife is down i'm gonna put it right about there so it's still touching the knife but i did move it down and then just keep doing that throughout the animation trying to keep that corner in the ring and it won't look perfect just because this is like a quick tutorial but it is what it is so it will work just fine i'm just giving you guys a concept so now if you play this as you can see the arm shaking makes the whole animation look a lot better and then we can actually test this by using a plugin called camera locker which i will link down below it's free and easy to download so in your view model actually here karambit open it up click fake camera camera locker and then i'll quickly just make this smaller if you play the animation as you can see we have this cool spinning effect 
And now for this one, I'll think like for the next step, I'm just going to bring the knife in a lot closer to actually allow my player to look at it, but not too much to where it's like not even fitting in the frame. So I'm going to move, let's say this much about, and then select the knife and the right arm and just rotate them oh should probably do it from this side just move them in like this which is also kind of hard to do because you have to keep checking this camera locker just to make sure i actually think that's good so it goes from here to here which is i think great and then you usually want to kind of hold it in this position for I don't know, at least like half to a second. So I'm actually going to once again quickly change. Let's exit the camera locker. Change the length of our animation from, let's say, two seconds to three, which will just give us more space to work with. So hold on, let's see. I'm happy with the speed of the spin, so I'm not going to expand this part. I'm just going to continue our, obviously, our inspect right here. So I'm going to move, let's say, it's about two seconds. What is that? That's two seconds, but let's say like one, two, three, four, five lines, right? And then I'm just going to make a slight turn the wrist just to kind of like look over the knife. And it should be really slow because there's a lot of space. So again, main and then shift right arm and then just like a tiny little hold on the green wheel a tiny little kind of like a turn in just to kind of show off that blade which will look kind of like this okay that's kind of too short so I will move this about here which will just kind of give it that slow leaning effect Maybe just a tiny bit longer, so right there. Okay, so basically if we play the whole thing, we're going to get a spin, and then the character brings it in, kind of looks at it, and then in three we'll return it to the starting position here. So again, I'm going to go start. Not cut, copy selected. In case you accidentally cut, just click Control z on your keyboard, and it will bring it back, so... Now go three, paste. That's our simple animation. And then let's quickly use the fake camera to, well, I actually need it, um, to look over the, our results. So fake camera, camera locker, play we have a spin and look over and it looks kind of weird now just because you see like half of the screen is being blocked by this slide menu but it will look great once we actually try it in the game so i'm gonna call this inspect knife right click the three dots then click publish to roblox and then you should see inspect knife appear in your RBX item saves here. And then you don't have to change anything right here. So click save and make sure to copy this number because if you don't copy the ID, it's so hard to find it later. Okay, now that we copied it, go back to Karambit where the inspect animation was. Take this and then just paste it in. And let's actually try it. Let's play the game. Let's zoom in, so click F, the knife spins, and then the character looks over it. Now that I see it, I would move the knife further in the first frame, just because it's kind of dipping outside, but overall, it works perfectly. So, we have a perfect spinning animation, kind of inspecting it, and then if we check for errors, no errors found, so perfect. There you go. 
you finished you can close out of this and you have a perfect inspection animation if you like this video please like and subscribe comment down below any ideas you have for next tutorials and then also just if you're having some kind of issue don't be shy go ahead and comment or message me in my discord i usually reply within a couple of hours or one of our moderators will be happy to help you also check the top comments sometimes when i make mistakes i will pin something to kind of go over how to fix it and then you're done enjoy your game and then like subscribe see you in the next one